a little bit too late on a rainy morning, I jumped on the train, crowded as usual. Next to me sat a man struggling with some Swedish vocabulary. He told me he was a dentist from Syria. After five years in Sweden, he had finally given up his ambition to work as a dentist again. The course necessary to get the Swedish license has very few seats. He applied but didn't get in. Instead, the employment agency sent him to a one-year course as to become an interpreter. Hi, I'm Eva and I work for Region Skåne. I will present how we in the southern part of Sweden collaborate for successful integration of refugee academics. Of course, refugees should be cared well for on humanitarian grounds, but I wonder how come we don't make it easier for refugees to become a valuable asset in their new country. The encounter with the Syrian dentist made me realize that it's not the lack of money. The man had gone through several classes in Sweden and now he was offered a one year training to get a new profession. The not so good, same for all integration system that Sweden has created makes uh, it, as academics are considered to manage anyhow. What a waste of highly skilled people. Our region has, for Swedish condition, a high unemployment rate. And at the same time, companies cannot find people with the right qualifications to hire. To bridge the gap between the skills of the unemployed and the skills required by the employers, we have built a regional platform. To solve this unsustainable situation, it's necessary to collaborate. Here, Region Skåne, the County Administrative Board, Swedish Public Employment Services, the universities and all municipalities in Skåne make a common effort. Uh, in 2015, the platform discussed what we could do to help refugees. Two fantastic universities in the region stepped forward, Malmö University and Lund University. Very different, but both very dynamic. Together, we started a project, Highly Skilled Migrants, Quick Route to the Labor Market. Our aim was to find methods to shorten the time of integration, methods possible to scale up and use for other professions as well. Parallel to mapping the whole process from seeking asylum to job market entry, we conducted two pilot projects, one with engineers and one with teaching assistants. We established real collaboration, gained experience and tested ideas. We discovered that everything is much more difficult in reality than on paper. And we were a bit naive and thought that a course certificate with master level courses from a reputable university should open all doors. Well, that is not enough to get a job. You need a network, you need to be familiar with the codes and working culture in your new country, and you need to be quite good at Swedish. And the courses must be tailored to the job market. So we developed improved concepts and found other sources of finance. Still, some hindrances remain. It was more difficult than we thought to go from per project to permanent activity. Please meet Doa. She's a computer engineer who has worked six years in IT support and three years as a university teacher. Doa is married to Awad, an eye surgeon with 15 years working experience. They are originally Palestinians who lived in Syria and came to Sweden in November 2015. During one and a half years, they had to wait for residence permit, but used the time to study Swedish on their own. They found it difficult to get into contact with Swedes, 
So they searched the internet and found language cafes, the church, and different product, projects to start to build a network. Through one of the NGOs, Doa took her first course in programming. Then she heard of Matchit, one of our projects, and was admitted. Halfway through the project, Doa got a job as a programmer at Axis, a global company market leader in network video. Congrats, Doa. You are an inspiring role model. Doa has participated. Doa has participated in, in Matchit. There is a severe shortage of IT skills in our region, and the university designed a course package together with the companies at our science park to make sure it had the required content. This was, is a really good, good concept, already paying off. 17 plus 10 is our main concept. 17 stands for 17 weeks of a specially developed course package. Our participants have a degree from their home country and want to prepare for the same profession in Sweden. 10 weeks stand for internship. We are convinced that collaboration with companies is essential. So, in a total of only 27 weeks, the person is prepared and can go straight into a qualified position on the Swedish labor market. Our concept has some other ingredients. We think that highly skilled migrants should be offered to study Swedish at the university from day one. There should be high tempo in the studies, and as soon as possible, the language studies should be combined with professional courses that are necessary to work in Sweden. A course on codes and working culture in the new country should also be included, and extra workshops should be, be arranged to attract women. So, what happened to Awad, the eye specialist, married to Dua? He is preparing for the extremely difficult test all medical doctors from countries outside EU need to pass in order to get the license to work in Sweden. Together with 21 other doctors from Syria, Afghanistan, Colombia, and Iraq, he participated in another of our projects, a 17-week course to rehearse the whole medical education necessary to be able to pass the theoretical test. The picture is from the final practical week, where the students repeated the clinical skills at one of our hospitals in Region Skåne. It has been an eye-opening and useful learning process for the organizations in our platform. The commitment to the situation of, for highly skilled migrants has increased during the course of our work. We have made a mapping of the hindrances. The main four are, no one knows Swedish from the start. So many recruitments are made through networks. And as new in the country, you don't have any. Too many unnecessary rules stand in the way. And our not so friendly mindset. Of course, not you and me, but there is still conscious and unconscious discrimination. And fear of the little bit unknown. But please, look at these hindrances. It doesn't make take a rocket science to remove them. It's 2019 and we live in a global society. Everyone has a responsibility. Let's speed up integration. Anyone who speaks Swedish is welcome to read the mapping report and other reports from the different pilot projects. You find them at the link in the right corner of this picture. Maybe you have noticed that I used the notion highly skilled migrants instead of refugees with academic background. 
Many of the hindrances facing refugees are the same for, as for other highly skilled migrants. And we also found that there are better results in mixed groups with different nationalities. From the labor market point of view, the highly skilled migrants are valuable, whatever reason for migration. What happens next? We in the platform continue the work with projects and activities for highly skilled migrants when we can find funding for it. We try to influence decision makers on national level to change system errors and provide for long-term solutions. Our vision is a regional center at one university, open to all highly skilled migrants in Skåne. This should work as one entrance or one-stop shop where the individual should be able to receive all the necessary information and guidance needed to make well-founded choices regarding further studies and careers. The main activity of the center should be study and career guidance. And here we have already started a very successful project uh, for doing this part. Uh, coupled to the guidance, migrants with working experience should have the possibility to meet employers and professionals from their own field and also university teachers if additional studies are needed. Tests and validation should be available, as well as information about mentor programs, social activities, and other initiatives by NGOs. And of course, our methods should be part of the permanent offer. A lot of time and frustration when will be saved when this one-stop shop is created. We We'll work together, the organization in Region Skåne, until our best concepts are permanent, the one-stop shop center is a reality, and then we will spread it to the world. Thank you for your attention.